Joining me at uh, Gloucester is Josh Gowling. Uh, one nil reverse for, for Hereford today. Your reflections on the match? Not good enough. Um, obviously, the, the free kick's poor. Um, the way we give it away in the first place is poor, but he's had three 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 headers in the box, so that's poor. But I just we didn't we didn't play. I just, I just we wanted to get the ball down and play, and we didn't do it. We turned went a bit too direct from for my liking, and they just had a bit more intensity than us. And I think that's just where we're at at the moment. A couple of instances in the first half when you could have taken the lead, though. Yeah, we just we made bad decisions. So we got in the final third, and, and the pass, the execution of the pass wasn't quite right, or we didn't see the pass. Um, you know, and that's you know, look, they play quite a high line, and, and you know, balls over the top for Ryan and, and, and Toby were on, and we just didn't really execute them very well. And we were kicking balls out for throw-ins, and that's the frustrating thing. You know, we come with a game plan, we didn't really execute it very well today. Why did you think the players were a little bit lackadaisical then? They're not, they're not, like, they're not lackadaisical or, or, or anything. You know, Luke's come over to the fans at the end of the game to, to clap, and there's a couple of them that are shouting at him. I'm not going to have that. Someone's got to say something, say to my face, they can say to me, not my players. So the players will always give 100% with everything they do. You know, and it's a fan saying that's the worst he's seen in 12 years. Well, he must have seen some good football here then. Because, yeah, we weren't great today, but it wasn't the worst we've seen in 12 years. And the lads are trying to push. We're, we're trying to get to those places, positions that the club have never been since it's been reformed. And yes, we are like, we know that, but we've got to keep pushing. We've got to stay together and, and push as a group. And they're devastated in there because, you know, it was a great opportunity for us today to really get close to those playoff places and, and, and we've let it slip. So when you say not good enough, what are you alluded to right just, across the pitch? Just or the what? performance, yeah, the whole performance. I just think, you know, we defended well the majority of the game. I thought the back four were OK. But I just think the decision-making in possession was not where we are. And I, I, it's been creeping in the last couple of weeks for me and, you know, speaking to the lads about it, we won obviously Saturday, uh, Friday, sorry, at home and even in possession then for me, it wasn't where we need to be and the lads know that, our expectations and, and what we can do. I'd like to think when we play against the better passing sides at this level, we're normally the better team and that's eluded us a little bit of late. Four points outside the playoffs for four games to go. You're not going to tell me it's all over? No, but it's frustrating, isn't it? Because you win today, where are you? And that's been us all season at the moment, hasn't it? You know, when you get an opportunity to, to claw those points back and, and get one, one point outside of it, then you fall away from it. So that's the frustrating thing for us. When we're nearly there, we're just not quite hit over that barrier. But hey, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. Does that mean that the players are not quite there? The quality is not quite there? You're, all, you're all an almost successful Look, we've, so. we've got a young squad. That's what we've got. And with young players, you have ups and downs and, and you have inconsistencies with a young squad. Probably need a bit more experience on the side, that's for sure. And that's obviously areas we'll look at for next season. But right now, we've got to squeeze every ounce of us for the rest of the, the, the four games and, and see where we are at the end of it. Well, it's a good turnout from Hereford fans today. Probably just under a thousand. Yeah, absolutely excellent. And they sung, they chanted. Even when we, we went to Gold Island, I could hear them singing. Um, we're still going <laughs> to we're still going to sing anyways. It's brilliant. Hey, they're amazing. Our fans were absolutely amazing. The turnout today was epic. You know, the turnout on Friday was epic, and you know we really do appreciate their support. And look, I understand when they come and they see a performance like that, they get upset and disappointed, which is why I want to speak to them because. It's disappointing and upsetting for us and you know there's, there's a fan saying he, he's been there for 12 years and, he, and we don't understand. I'm the manager of the football club, he doesn't understand how it affects us as a group. You know, we plan, we work tirelessly. This is our life and I get it's their lives as well. It means so much to us to, to, to get and push on and get this club where it wants to be and we want it more than anything else and you know we'll, we'll keep pushing until we get there. Because a lot of the players are contracts are up in the summer so that must have a bearing for you as well. Yeah, of course we look at it. You know, we looked at uh, you know Wembley last year, and, and you know the, the pressure for some of the lads was a bit too much. And you know, looking at it as of late, we probably need that a bit more experience, that those wild season pros a little bit more in the squad just to kind of get you through these moments. So there are things we're gonna have to look at in the summer, of course. But at the moment, we can't look at that right now. We've got four games left, and we've got to put everything into these last four games. In the short term, then, what are your options next week at home to Bradford? In, in terms of what? what? What playing staff? Can you rotate things even more? Well, you've seen the squad, haven't you? <laughs> There's not much rotations in there. Look, you know, we've lost Mazzi, we've lost Janai. Obviously, we're, we're thinner because of it. And that's the reality of where we're at with it. So, you know, the lads have got to step up that want those shirts and play. And, you know, obviously, people like Toei and Ryan have been excellent all season. And, you know, the thing is, sometimes you're looking at you don't want to just look at Toei to win, win your games of football. You've got to look at everywhere else. And I think t today, I think we look a bit too much for him to, to create a spark where, you know, we need it with him. Well, good luck next week. Cheers. Thank you.
You left Ben Pollock on the bench today. Was that? No, no, he wasn't on the bench. He um, had a knee injury, so he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't available for selection. He's knee, he knee puffed up on Friday after the game, um, and he was a bit sore when he was, he was locking it up. So, obviously, playing on this surface probably wasn't the best idea. Go, running in, going into the last four games. So, yeah, he Back wasn't available. Saturday, Fingers crossed. Yeah, he's, he's working with Aaron today. That's why he was in, and uh, we'll, we'll do some more work on Thursday, and hopefully, it'll be um, all good. What was said to you between you and the fans because you were quite a while explaining things. No, he was like just that. having a go at Luke and I didn't like it to be honest. And, and then he was just saying it's the worst I've seen in 12 years, which again, I'm not sure who we are. But <laughs> I've seen worse than that in 12 years and I've been playing and I was a part of it. So, <laughs> But no, no, I just wanted to have a chat with him. That was all. Look, I, I get people's frustrations. I'm frustrated and sometimes if they're going to vent, I don't mind. I, I'll, I'll be that sounding board for them to vent and... You know, I just wanted to listen to what he, had, what he had to say. The fans are great. You know, they've clapped us off at the end and they're over there and, and saying what a good job we're doing. So, But look, we're disappointed. We are, that's for sure. Again, we've, we've lost an opportunity to probably go, what, probably ninth today would be, a uh, point behind. So, frustrating. And they probably appreciate you going over and actually talking to them. I'll always, I'll always do that. I'll always front them up. You know, all I will say to the fans is if if they've got an issue, don't, don't air it to the players, air it to me. Uh, I'll take that. You know, at the end of the day, it's my team. They're my boys. And you know that the lads will always put a shift in there and always, you know, do do their best. So if they've got a problem, they can come speak to me. Okay. No problem.